All right, hello. Here I am in British Columbia, Canada. I, um, I heard that this flower was in bloom, this particular one, and uh, that it might not be around for long. So I immediately bought a plane ticket and flew over here to see it and experience it before it was gone. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. You don't know how long these things will be around, so I'm glad I got to see it in time. Anyways, but while we're here, it's a beautiful area, west coast of Canada, southwest coast I guess. So uh, let's take a look at some of the other things we have around here, huh? Should we? Oh wow, look at this big honker, right here, crossing the road. He's got a piece of bark stuck to him. I don't know if I should try to get it off of him or just let him be. That hole in the side of him, is that his ear? Right there? I don't know, this guy is bigger than my finger. I feel like if I get this off of him, more things will just get stuck to him. This is my finger next to him. That's a big slug, man. It's a real big slug. Why did the slug cross the road? That is the age-old question. I don't know if we'll ever know. I guess to get to a more moist, soggy spot to just hang out and be slimy. Oh. I'm going to be honest, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it sure is confident. There's no stutter steps or faltering. It just goes for it. I know this is a wild plant review, but I have to snag some of these critters. Look at this one gliding along the ground. If this thing wasn't so small, it'd be making me a lot more uneasy. It's only about an inch long. It looks like it's floating almost. It's entrancing with all those legs. I read somewhere that they have their own little brain, each one of them, and then they're somehow coordinated. It's pretty cool to say the least, even if I am totally grossed out by it. I'm a big fan of how much a fan I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I don't like it at all.
All right, okay, we've got some pretty little flowers right here. A whole bush of them growing like inverted grapes on the vine hanging up into the sky. Pretty cute. Some more over here. I like the little ones. They haven't haven't bloomed yet. That little bunch right there. I don't know. Maybe it's too late for them. Maybe they never will bloom. All the tiny little we got the tiny little flowers and then tiny little little white lines sticking out in between them. Very tender. Very delicate. What finesse. I like these a lot. What do you think? Got an old thorn vine here. Very prickly. Uh, and a lot of old thorn vines here. But what I like about this one is there's some fresh growth on it. New, young thorns. They're just as prickly, but the thorns are soft. You can bend them backwards if you want. I wouldn't try bending these thorns backwards. They'll just poke you. These leaves, so young and tender. The light shines right through them. They curl. They've got special little wrinkles that the other older leaves don't have. I guess with humans, the old people wrinkle and the, the young leaves are... I guess babies wrinkle a little bit, I don't know, but... I don't know, with leaves... The young ones have their own special wrinkles, I like it. It's such an appealing shade of green, huh? Da, 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 da. It's like a little tiny baby leaf fist. Tiny little thorns. Oh, oh, keep trying, little guy. We'll, we'll scrape someone's leg up eventually as they walk through here. And I don't know what is going on here, but I feel like these plants were made just for me. The curls, these ferns, the, how the leaves curl up right on the edge here like this. Little, little fists of curls on the end. There's these plants. Look at them. They're all standing right here like this. You see these? Oh my goodness. I love them. Look at this. This little leaf right here, this stem going up, that's my favorite. I love that. I love that a lot. Ferns, uh... Ferns really call to me in a way I don't know if I can adequately explain. I just really like them. Maybe it's the pattern that gradually changes as you go down the stem of it. I'm not sure, but there's something very, very satisfying about them to me. And these ones have little, little furry tails on the ends. As they narrow away to nothingness. Which is very interesting. Oh yeah. That's the good stuff right there. those curls. There's a lot of ferns right here. Look at these. Oh, these ones are amazing. Oh. Yes, please. Totally different, but still totally amazing. Let's look at the underside. Beautiful. like that a lot. These little leaves down here, pretty great. They're spiky on the, on the belly. Got, a little, got a little protective spikes, I guess. I guess spikes like that are so uh, 
predators don't eat them. Looking pretty great out here. Little things growing up from the dirt, soaking up the moisture from the earth, turning, turning it into beautiful greenery. Big fan of this moss right here. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Well, see, that's what I was about to say about moss. Is I like it because they uh, moss grows on stuff that you know, it's dead. You probably shouldn't step on. It's unstable. Sorry for crushing your log moss. I'm sorry. I spy a tiny purple flower in there. It's so small. It's in the middle of a bunch of branches. I can't get to it. Look at that. This is a beautiful area. There are a lot of things to look at, including whatever the heck this is. I almost feel like I shouldn't be touching it. I feel like if there's anything here that's going to be pumping out pollen and making me sneeze, it's probably this, if not the dandelions. Look at that. I love the way it droops. Very satisfying. And then, oh, wait a second, up here? These are very, very small pine cones. They're like pocket-sized pine cones. Oh yeah. Some of them have fallen on the ground already. How cute is that? I've never seen such a cute little pine cone. Adorable. Got some incredible, simply incredible little sprouts right here. I don't really know what these are exactly, but I know I like them. Look at these little sprouts. Very smooth stalks, bulbous little elongated ends, and then below them, amazing. I guess is this moss? I think it's moss. I would call it moss. That are very just very tiny plants, but I guess that's what. I guess that's what moss is, right? I mean, look at this stuff go. Oh, it's so soft and it's like bonsai, miniature bonsai pine trees or something, I don't know. Oh, I could fall asleep on this stuff. It's much softer than it looks. I know maybe it looks a little bit pokey, uh, but it's not, it's very soft.
Got another huge slug here. In fact, I'm afraid to walk around these parts now, just just because what if I what if I step out step on one of these guys? This guy's bigger than my thumb. I don't want to get one of these smeared across the bottom of my of my shoe, you know. This guy is like really, really big. The big dude. I probably weighs a quarter pound. He's bigger than the patties that give you at McDonald's. I don't want to bother him, but uh, you know, do something. You're on camera. Oh, it creeps me out. <laughs> Get a shell, bud. Is it good that I'm saying bud now that I'm in Canada? Look at him go. So weird. I love him. What a good boy. I should probably try touching him just once so that I could say I live my life to the fullest, but I'm honestly too afraid. I'm gonna touch him, okay? Right here on the head of him. Oh, I didn't like that at all. I'm gonna touch him again. The slimiest thing I've ever touched. Oh. I didn't like it. All right, go on, live your life, slug. I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go wash my hands. Bye. There's a uh, pretty good plants around here. I'm impressed. Apart from all the giant slugs the size of tour buses, I mean, I, I like it here, except for the slugs that I'm afraid to walk anywhere. I'm afraid I'll step on one. Ooh, there's a nice, there's a, ni a lot of nice bugs flittering around, dragonflies. Um, ooh, there's a dragonfly, it landed. I'm gonna try to get it. Stay still, dragonfly. All right, I lost it. Where'd it go? It moved. Like I was trying to say that there's like some butterflies flitting around, but they're hard to record because they don't stay still. Also, the last time I tried recording a butterfly, it flew right in my face. These little, these fresh leaves are pretty sweet. Look at these go. I guess these will be opening up pretty soon. Coming more full-fledged leaves like these ones here. The more advanced more advanced version, I suppose. Yeah. Plants don't have to be alive to be awesome. The dead, shriveled up versions have great, inspiring properties to them. Look at these go shriveled up. Well, there's some shriveled up ones back here I forgot to look at. This one, just the end of this branch is just the end of this branch, for some reason, is shriveled up and dead. And interestingly enough, I see a little hanger on her on the back. Yeah, there's a little caterpillar back there. See that little guy riding back there? Maybe he ate the whole thing. Got a big belly. A little inchworm. A little green guy. See him? Schlurkin. Thought I would notice. Have we here the four musketeers just chilling up to no good? <gasps> There's a little bug on them. Oh, what's that bug doing? It's like sticking its little head down between the petals. Do you see that? Pollinating? Just maybe just sniffing real hard. Maybe it's organizing the petals, making sure they're all laying, laying in there, right? None of them are getting tangled. Just looking for a friend, maybe. Yeah, I think, I think I just love how it smells in there. If I had to give my professional opinion, 
I think if I could crawl my whole body in between those petals, I would, so. Doing, 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 doing. Oh my goodness, wait a second. Get a load of these curly cues. How perfect are these? Oh, someone help me. Look at those. Oh my goodness. These are my favorite ferns. Fluffy and curly. Trees are pretty. There's moss all over. There's water on my lens. I wonder how long there's been water on my lens. You, know, you notice something like that and you wonder if it's been messing up all your video for like an hour. But look, lots of gray moss all over these trees. What do you think? Incredible. Just gorgeous area here. Moss just all over everything. The trees are just chilling. They don't mind. They're like, hey, moss, go ahead, grow on me. I can handle it. Look at all that. Mm, really great through there. The sun just filtering through. Everything doing its thing. Everywhere you look, a beautiful nature scape. This is the world record holder for tiniest flower. Look, it's just some tiny, it gets lost in the middle of the, of the forest growth here. Okay, not the tiniest flower ever, but it's very small. And very pretty. I like it a lot. Hulking mossed beast. Moss don't care, tree don't care, it goes on. I'd be scary to see at night right there. There's like a, there's like a bumblebee doing flybys around me right now. Zoom. Zoom. I feel like eventually it's gonna dock right in my ear and build a nest and have kids in there. Well, there are some quality birds hopping around right here. Let's get a closer look. Hey birdie. Focus. They're eating insects. Eating little bugs and worms and stuff. Got some purple little pockets of beauty here. Look at these. I like those a lot. They're tiny. Some more right there. Oh, there's a fork in the road. Not a pun. Oh, there's little, there's little petals growing out the side of these things. Look, you see the little, <gasps> you see the little hairs on the end of those? Oh, it's like little eyelashes or something. I don't know what's going on there, but it's amazing. Oh, those are great. Those are really great. Hey, Mr. Squirrel. What you eating under there? Cut a piece of bark. Making it look real good. Oh, you dropped it. Get another piece. Oh, juicy. Cut that whole log to yourself. And all the time in the world. Just 
have to nibble on pieces of bark. What a life. Eating it like corn on the cob. Oh yeah. Get it real good. Put those teeth in there. Get a good piece though. I don't know about that's not a good piece. I like her little hands. 